Hi students, how are you? Today we are going to discuss an important topic in your mathematics textbook. Shall we? Are you ready children? Let us start the session now. Children, today we are going to discuss about integers in your mathematics textbook. It's very important topic in your daily life. So listen carefully, all of you. Here, what do you mean by integers? We are going to learn all the concepts in integers. This is Sage Srinivasara from ZPHS double pore. Now let us start the concept before going to know about the integers. Let us recall some of the concepts which we have learned in previous classes. Okay, children, that's good. Let us start now. First of all, can you see here? Can you count these tigers? I have given a question, can you count these tigers? Where are the tigers? Yes, I am giving now. See, these are the tigers. How many tigers are there here? Only one tiger is there. Count the next one. How many tigers are there? There are two tigers. Very good. Next, how many tigers are there here? How many are there? One, two, three. So there are three tigers. That's good children. We are counting very good. Shall we go to the next one now? Remember this one. What are the numbers here? One, two, three. These are the numbers are used to count these tigers. Isn't it? Yes. We'll go to the next one. Here, can you count these faces? Here there are some faces given. See, See, these are some faces. One, two, three, four. How many faces are there here? Yes, there are four faces. Like that, count the next faces. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many are there? There are six faces. Yes, children, that's good. Counting very nicely. Now you count all these faces. Don't confuse. Count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Isn't it? Yes. There are 12 faces. Okay. So here 12 faces are there. So how many faces are there here? 12 faces. Okay. There are 12 faces. Let us give 12 faces. Yes. Here also, we used some numbers. What are those numbers? 4, 6, and 12. Yes. Like that, let us go to the next one. Observe all these things. What did you understand from this counting? See, children, we have counted some numbers. Isn't it? I mean, some tigers we have counted and some faces we have counted. So from this counting, what did you understand? What did you understand from this counting? While counting things, we need the help of numbers like one, two, three, four, etc. Isn't it? When we count some things, whether that is a tiger or, or whether those are faces or pens or pencils. If you count some things, some objects, we need the help of numbers. Why? Because to denote the number of things which we count. That's why we need some numbers. That is one, two, three, four, and so on. Isn't it? Now, these numbers are called natural numbers. Isn't it, children? These numbers are called natural numbers. 
yes next the set of natural numbers in the form of n the set of natural numbers these natural numbers those are 1 2 3 4 and so on these natural numbers are denoted by n capital n and these are like this set bracket this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on many natural numbers will be there okay infinite natural numbers will be there here in the in this set here observe one thing this is the least natural number there is no other number before one i mean previous to one okay that is called predecessor there is no predecessor for one what is the highest natural number if i ask a question what do you say the answer don't say that this is six see the natural numbers does not ends with the six there are 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like that. Many natural numbers will be there. So the highest natural number can't be defined. You have to say the answer can't be defined. Okay. Okay, children. That's good. Observe properly like that everything. Now, natural numbers. Some things will let us observe about natural numbers. Natural numbers n. n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Just now only I have said, I said, no, what is that? What is the highest natural number? What is the highest natural number? Can't be defined. Highest natural number can't be defined. Okay. They are can't define. Next, what is the successor of five? Successor means the next number. See, this is five. What is the next number for five? That is six. So successor of five is six. Okay. What is the predecessor of 10? Predecessor of 10. Predecessor means before number, previous number. So 10, previous to 10, what number will be there? 9 will be there. So the what is the predecessor of 10? That is 9 for predecessor. I mean, predecessor for 10 is 9. For 9, successor is 10, like that. Okay, children. What is the successor of 100? 100 successor. Successor means the next number. What is the next number? 101. Okay. Do you understand what is predecessor and what is successor? These two are important. Predecessor means before or previous number. Successor means the next number. Okay, children. What is the difference between any two successive natural numbers? See here, 2, 3. These are called successive natural numbers. What is the difference between these two? Two after three. How many numbers are there to get three? Only one. Why? Because two plus one is equal to three. If you take, for example, five and six, observe here. If you take, for example, five and six. So for five, if you take plus one, then six comes, isn't it? So for five and six, the difference is only one like that for four and five the difference is only one that is the difference between any two successive natural numbers is one only okay children all these things we can observe in natural numbers okay can you say the predecessor of one in natural numbers see here these are the natural numbers starts with one what is the predecessor of one predecessor means previous number what is the previous number for one? There is no previous number in natural numbers. So can you say the predecessor of one in natural numbers? No, we cannot say. Why? Because there is, uh, uh, it does not exist. Predecessor does not exist. Isn't it children? Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Let us go to the next one. Once again, try this. I'm giving you one more. Shall we try now? Once again, once again, try these. What are these? See, count these balls. I'm giving some balls. You count it. See, one, two, three, four. How many balls are there? Can you count this? One, two, three, four. Yes, there are four balls. Here, I counted 
there are four balls. Isn't it, children? Next. Here, I am giving you something. Here, some lamps like. See, how many balls are there here? The question is like this. This is one lamp stand. This is one lamp candlestick or lamp stand. This is one lamp stand. Now, here you have to count how many balls are there here. Are there any ball? I mean, is there any ball? No, there is no ball. How can you count here balls? We can count the lamp stands. One, two, three. But I did not give a question like that. How many lamp stands are there? No, that's not the question. Now the question is, how many balls are there here? How many balls are there here? You can say the answer. I think you will say the answer, no balls. Sir, no balls. You will say the answer same. Yes, there are no balls here. But I asked how many balls? How many means you have to tell a number after counting the balls. If you count, there are no balls. There are no balls means you have to say a number. Should not say that there are no balls. I asked how many? If I say, are there any balls? Then you can give an answer, there are no balls. But what I said, how many balls? That is why in these cases, if there are no balls, you have to say the answer is zero. This is the number we should use. Okay, children? This is the number we should use in this situation. Okay? Now, see, if we include zero to natural numbers, see, previous slide, we discussed about natural numbers, no? Natural numbers means one, two, three, four, five and all. For those natural numbers, if you include zero, that means you have to write from zero. Then that collection is called whole numbers. So let us see what are the whole numbers now. See, whole numbers. What are the whole numbers? Whole numbers. So, the numbers, whole numbers are represented like this. How? Like this. W. W is equal to starting from 0. Just now I said 0. If you include 0 to natural numbers, see, all these are natural numbers, isn't it? Children, you have to remember from 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on, infinite. These numbers are called natural numbers. If you take 0 also, that means if you write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on, infinite, these are called whole numbers. You may get one doubt, sir. 2 is there in natural number. And again, you are writing in whole numbers. What, sir? Yes, two can be written as a natural number as well as a whole number. That is why all the natural numbers are there in whole numbers. We can say like that. Okay, children? Okay. Some things let us understand from these whole numbers. Shall I ask a question now? What is the least natural number in this? Yes, that is zero. What is the highest natural number is this? No, it's not a seven. I know that you are telling seven as the answer. No, there are many whole numbers. Infinite whole numbers are there. That's why don't say seven is the highest. We can write eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 100, one lakh, one crore. Any highest number you can write. That is why the highest whole number can't be defined. Okay. As we said in natural number, the highest natural number can't be defined. The least natural number is one. 
here the least natural number is sorry the least whole number is zero the highest whole number can't be defined okay children let us uh, uh, see some uh, questions to this see what is the question now what is the smallest whole number you may get the answer now yes you can get it right now what is the smallest whole number yes you write it and show it to your class mass teacher second question are all natural numbers whole numbers see all natural numbers whole numbers once you observe all natural numbers are there in whole number yes all natural numbers are there okay what can you say here yes go to the next question are all whole numbers natural numbers can you say like this all whole numbers all these whole numbers whole numbers means starting from zero all these numbers are there in natural number no what is not there yes zero is not there so are all whole numbers natural numbers you have to say the question answer is no isn't it children yes the whole numbers which does not have predecessor predecessor means previous number what is the number which does not have previous number here for example you take 7 7 have a previous number 6 that means predecessor is 6 again take 6 6 have a predecessor 5 for 5 have a predecessor 4 4 have a predecessor 3 3 have a predecessor 2 2 have a predecessor 1 1 have a predecessor 0 0 have a predecessor no there is no predecessor for zero so the whole number which does not have predecessor what is that whole number that is zero okay children do you understand it's very easy we have learnt in previous classes already in sixth class i mean in fifth class fourth class we know natural numbers whole numbers in in sixth class itself you have second chapter whole numbers isn't it there also we have learnt okay all these are previous knowledge we are recalling once again which we have learnt okay now let us go to the next one see observe what you have to observe observe properly see there is a photograph which i have given here observe this photograph properly what can you see here there is a fire there is a firewood and it is firing this is very hot now if you go to the fire it's so dangerous don't go to the fire okay so it's a fire we can say that it's a fire yes yes do you observe this yes it's a fire how do you measure this heat see this is a fire no it is so hot isn't it if it is so hot how do you measure this how much hot is there do you say that 1 kg hot or uh, some 10 kg hot or can you say uh, 10 liters hot no it's not correct liters can be used to measure liquids kilograms grams can be used to or used to measure weight but what about this heat how do you measure this heat we'll measure this heat in degree centigrade or form heats degree centigrade or form heat so what is the degree centigrade of this heat so what is the temperature of this fire we can say in other words uh, temperature if you get fever you will go to the doctor no he will give on thermometer and he will put you in, uh, put the derma thermometer in your mouth so that he can measure the temperature of the uh, the temperature in your body isn't it the temperature is nothing but heat in your body isn't it so like that this is also heat so what is the temperature of this fire this is very hot no that is why we can say some 100 degree centigrade this is degree centigrade no we'll measure so i'll give uh, maybe some 500 degree 
centigrade. Why? Because it is so hot. Isn't it? Correct or not? Once again, I repeat, if you observe this photograph, it's a fire. This fire can be measured in centigrades. We can call that heat is a temperature. So the temperature of this fire is maybe 500 degrees centigrade. I'm not telling you exactly 500 degrees centigrade. It may be 500 degrees centigrade, isn't it? Let us go to the next observation. Observe properly. Once again, here is a photograph. What is this photograph? You may get water in your mouth, isn't it? This is a, what is this? Ice cream, isn't it? Okay, let us see. Do you observe this question? Now the answer, yes, it's a fruit salad. Fruit salad with ice cream. There is ice cream and also fruit salad, isn't it? Is it hot? If you touch this fruit salad, will it be hot? No. Then how will it be? It's cool, isn't it? Yes or no? How do you measure this cool? It's very cool, like ice cubes. Yes or no? Then how do you measure? If you take hot in fire, we'll measure the temperature in degrees centigrade. Now what about this cool? This cool also will be measured in degree centigrade. But what is this coolness? How much degree centigrade? It 500, we said that for fire, it's 500 degree centigrade. What about this one? 100? No, 100 means very hot. 50 degree? 50 degree also very hot. Then what do you say? We can say the temperature of this fruit salad is very cool, maybe below zero degree centigrade. It's not even zero degree. The coolness of this fruit salad is not even zero degree. So the temperature of this fruit salad is very cool. So we can say it may be below zero degree centigrade. Below zero degree means what is the number will you give? This is below zero degree centigrade. What is the number to be given to measure this fruit salad, we cannot say one. Why? Because it is below zero, below zero. So don't say one or two or three or 10 or 20 or 30. We should say below zero degrees, isn't it? So when this situation arises, we should use some other numbers below zero. Yes or no? Yes. If it is very hot, we can use 500,000 or 1,000, like 2,000, 3,000 or 1 lakh like that. But it is below zero degree. So in this situation, what do you use? Which number is to be used in this situation? Shall we see now? Okay, let us see. In this situation, we should use integers. What are these integers? Let us now we entered into our chapter integers. Let us learn some things about integers. So in such situations, what are those situations? If it's very cool, if it's below zero degree, it's not even zero, before zero, less than zero, we need to have another numbers to represent below zero values. Isn't it? We should have another number. Otherwise, how, how will you measure that coolness? So below zero values, what are those which are minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus 10, minus 100, minus 1000, like that, any numbers. These are below zero or less than zero. Okay, so these are called, minus is there, no? Minus means negative. So these are called negative numbers. What do you call these numbers? Negative numbers, okay? Then what is positive? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on are there, no? Natural numbers, those are positive numbers. These are negative numbers. But in between there is another number, zero is, 
is there. Zero is not a positive number and not a ne <coughs> negative number. Zero is neither positive nor negative. Okay, we will go uh, after. If we include negative numbers to whole numbers, then the new number set is called integers. So, for whole numbers, whole numbers are starting from 0, no? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. To those numbers, if we include minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and so on, then the total numbers set is called integers. Now you may be uh, come to know what is integer. What are integers? What is the set of integers? Isn't it? These are called integers. So if you say clearly in integers, we have negative numbers, we have positive numbers, and also zero. Why? Because if we include negative numbers to whole numbers, that is called integers, isn't it? So these are integers. Now I'll show you the number line of integers. Now you can understand very easily what is the number line of integers. Okay. So the numbers which are positive, zero, and negative numbers together are called integers and denoted by the letter i or z. Just now I said no, integers means positive numbers, zero and negative numbers. All together are called integers. This is denoted by i or z. See, I denoted as z. z is equal to, see here, I have given one, two, three, four, five, and so on many. And minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, and so on many. And in between, zero also. So all these numbers are called integers. Okay, children. See, in this one, two, three, four, five, these numbers are called natural numbers. Uh, if you take with zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on, these numbers are called whole numbers. If you take total, with negative numbers, that is called integers. Okay, that is called integers. Let us see a number line. See, this is a number line. In this number line, we denoted some numbers. Middle one is zero. This is right side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. This is positive numbers and minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, and so on. These are negative numbers, or we can say negative integers, okay? These are positive integers, but these positive integers can be called as natural numbers. We know already these are natural numbers. If you take zero also, see here, zero. If you take zero also, all these numbers are whole numbers. Once again, I repeat, if you take from one to right side, all the numbers are natural numbers. If you take from zero to right side, all these numbers are whole numbers. If you take from minus one to left side, all these are called negative integers. If you take total numbers, all these numbers, see these negative numbers, zero and also positive numbers, all these are called integers. See, these are integers. In this, these natural numbers are positive integers and this left side to zero are negative integers and zero is called neither positive nor negative. Okay, children, do you understand now what is an integer and what are the numbers in integer set? Yes, in integers, positive numbers are there, negative numbers are there, and also zero is there. 
zero is neither positive nor negative okay children this is about integers okay children do you understand do you understand that's good we'll uh, in the next sessions we are going to learn how to add integers on number line subtract integers on number line or multiplication and also some additions like that all the remaining concept we are going to learn in the forthcoming sessions okay children until then bye bye see you thank you so much for having watched this video keep watching like this thank you so much bye bye